chapter but before going towards the new chapter i would like to ask you that if you have got any question related to the previous chapter that uh, we have recently completed you know very well that we are we were going through actually um uh, chapter number 5 so about chapter number 5 if you have got anything that you want to ask anything that you find in the questions that is not covered i have given you the notes even <clears throat> about each and every topic and our last topic was basically about the types of the modems type there are different types of modems and we had discussed about dial up modem isdn modem dsl modem so we have gone through these all things and i had asked you that you have to go through all these topics we have also compared the different types of the modems with their characteristics so up to here if you have got anything that you want to ask you want to clarify you can ask me you know very well that uh, the test which is basically the revision test that you are going to have is basically going to have to be conducted on 30th of november for your chapter 1 and 2 okay so on for chapter 1 and 2 you are going to have the test on 30th of november you need to go through all the chapters if you want to ask anything you can ask me about those chapters i will also give you a quick revision about those chapters as well inshallah in the coming class but before going towards that let me have <clears throat> this chapter that we are going to start basically which is about the computer security okay so in computer security basically this is the who is this who is trying to annotate i have told you a number of times okay so in this chapter if you see over here in the computer security and the ethics let me open the <clears throat> microsoft powerpoint new file because we are going to have this chapter now so we are going to discuss each and everything for this chapter okay so the computer security and the ethics this is the new topic that we are going to start <clears throat> so the very first thing is about security what is meant by security of the computer system what do you understand by this term what is meant by computer security or only security of the computer system but when we say only security it is concerned to all the other things as well but right now we are concerned with the computer security only this is the term that we need to understand can anyone define about it whatever your concept is i am not saying that your answer would be uh, that 100% uh, correct but if you have got any idea about computer security what do you understand about it please raise the hand and let me know your concept your current concept whatever you have you in, in your mind what comes in your mind when we say computer security because this is the term that you would have listened on television on in in different uh, channels of uh, youtube in different areas of news in newspapers these are the terms that you would have listened yes please uh, to protect a computer from viruses and spams to protect the computer from viruses and spams spams what is the thing inside the computer that you are going to protect your protect data data okay what kind of data is there what kind of data is there in your computer that you want to protect personal data and important information personal data important information okay the generalized data which is general in nature which is available over the internet as well 
that data is not that much important good good answer the data which is important is basically that data which is either personal data number one now what are the different types of the data that you need to uh, protect either you are you are not going when we say computer security does not mean security of the laptop security of the hardware or security of the mouse or the keyboard we are not referring to it although we need to protect the hardware as well you would have seen then in big organizations the server rooms are always locked and even these are opened with some biometric systems so why because when someone will enter to the hardware level in that room to check the hardware then he or she will be able to steal the data as well so what kind of things are there that what kind of data is there which is important we need to understand for example as Uh, it has been mentioned that personal data personal data we need to protect the personal data organizational data organizational data is also important personal data is the data that uh, is basically your own data organizational data for example if i am working in an organization and the data they have given me to work on and it is important it should not be shared with the competitors or from any person from outside so that is an organizational data so it needs to be protected similarly military data military data is also important government government uh, figures and data this is also important for the government organization so pcs which are available in different offices they have got different data which is of course it is the data related to different things related to the persons related to organizations related to any other thing but those who are sitting on those computers they are responsible basically to manage that data to protect that data it should not be shared for example in nadra office there are persons data whenever we make a c and i c the person data is there although the person data is of different persons but that government organization is basically responsible to protect that data of all the people it should not be shared similarly when we have got a different type of data for example it may be financial this is very important financial data financial data for example your debit card number credit card number pin code this is also the data that you want to keep protected <clears throat> why because it if it will be shared someone will be able to misuse it so computer system contains sometimes such kind of data we have stored <coughs> personal data on our computer systems just like pictures videos some other things which are related to our inside home or something so that is personal data organization data where i am working wherever any professional is working so you, he or she need to protect that data because the organization has given the important data to that particular employee and the employee does not uh, need to treat the data in an ordinary means he or she is responsible for protection of that particular data similarly this type of military data is very much high profile data <clears throat> for example for example take example for example some country have got some special types of weapons missiles nuclear bombs or something their calculations their allocations where they have been placed what is their sizes what is their capacities all the data about those things that they have got they would have saved that data in some computer systems in some super computers mainframe computers and they would be using that data so that data is also very much important because no other country which is an enemy of that particular country should see that data that what is the capacity of their military attacks what kind of technology they have got similarly i have given you the example of the government organizations that passport information your cnic information they they store all types of information about the uh, different kinds of land different kind of offices different kind of places different types of vehicles they store all the data vehicle data is there in the city there is always some organization which is dealing with it 
financial data is related to the banks and payments which are basically which is also a personal data as well sometimes for a person but financial data is very important in terms that if someone steals so then the loss will not be the loss of the data but also the loss of the you know important uh, facts and figures and similarly that loss can be converted to the financial loss as well data is called the blood you know of an organization why because organization can purchase the equipment if for example if some equipment is lost if some equipment is damaged if some equipment has got some issue or uh, there was some natural disaster fire or something like that equipments can be purchased once again there isn't uh, any issue with it equipments can be purchased but important thing is that if the data is lost or stolen or have been misused so this will be a a great loss for any organization or for any person so that's why computer security we always listen this term that computer security is important so com why computer security is important computer security is the important is important because it keeps your information protected it's also important for your computer's overall health proper computer security helps prevent viruses malware which allows programs to run quicker or smoother because malware and other things are also there which are going to destroy you know some things so the data windows software these can be disturbed just because of the <clears throat> just because of the malware okay so this thing is uh, very important for us uh you know <clears throat> all these students know about it that uh, i have already shared with all of you the google classroom code google classroom code has been shared with all of all with all the uh, students this is our basically personal id that we are that you people are using okay this is the personal id of the uh, you know zoom class that we are using if someone is not aware about it then kindly uh, let him know that uh, he can ask me over the uh, whatsapp or he can ask me about that particular uh, zoom id because if the student is uh, not attending the class so of course it will be difficult for him and recently we have got uh, this uh, rule that we are going to have strict action against those students who are not uh, doing it good so i have already shared with you all this information this information is with you not only the zoom id but also the password similarly i have already already shared with you the google class code as well so now there is going to be strict actions against those students because we are not going to send their admission <clears throat> they are not taking the classes seriously they are considering it some kind of joke so those who are not serious of course they are going to see the consequences <clears throat> come towards the topic again so in security we were basically we are basically concerned with now let me open the file of <clears throat> let me announce this thing once more that those students who are not taking the things seriously who are not attending the classes and who are not doing these all assignments and are not attending the tests and considering that it is not that much important so they are going to see a serious consequences because they are not going to have uh, uh, you know their exams from the schools because the school will send their uh, uh, forms as private candidates because they are going to spoil our results the school administration considers this thing that they are going to spoil the results so we are very much concerned about our results so once again i would like to tell all these students that if you are not serious you are not you are considering that it is not 
something serious thing and uh, you are not that much serious so you need to be very much careful about these uh, all things take your classes regularly and be present in your classes attend the classes do your tests otherwise it will be a great problem for you let me tell you let me mark the attendance over here from atika faisal to maniba and then say the fun those who have joined uh, today and they are not that much regular for them i would like to tell you just see over here see over here the google class code for them i would like to tell you you can go through the last lessons videos from here particularly i am telling those students here is your google class code noted down those who are not aware of the google class code class 9c this is the google class code that you are going to enter and you will be able to see the video lessons and all the topics with their notes are given over here noted down just noted down this is the google class code okay please note down and then if you are if you are not if you are not uh, regular kindly go through it to see the previous videos so that you can have practice of it okay now come towards the lesson again so today we are going to, through the chapter number 6 which is about the computer security and ethics now i have explained you these points which are there on your screen what is meant by basically computer security what your book says what is written over here computer viruses and other types of harmful software often infect computer and damage computer hardware or software computer user must have knowledge about computer security to protect computer from malicious threats and keep it in good working condition computer technology should not be used to harm other people who use computers computer technology should not be used to harm other people who use computers means one should not disturb any other person so viruses and uh, the malwares are also a threat harmful softwares malwares these are also a threat for a computer user because you are all the time mostly you are connected to the internet you need to protect your data and softwares because if some virus or malware will come inside your system it is going to damage either data or software or both and of course it is going to disturb not only your performance but also it is going to destroy the data and making any corruption in the data which is not recoverable and you are going to loss uh, you are going to have a loss in terms of your data so this thing uh, is very important and uh, you know if you are not uh, uh, protecting your system from that thing so you need to see all these things that what are the various measures that we can take in this chapter we are going to discuss about them so how much you are concerned about your computer security it shows your basically it, it is it, sh it is basically exhibited by your steps that you take to make your computer system protected and as i have explained you that these are the different types of data that you need to protect person a person a normal person is going to take measures in order to protect the personal data a person who is an employee of an organization is going to take that data on which he is he or she is working on in, in which organization he is she is working military data is of course protected by those scientists and researchers who are working in the different labs of the military organizations working on different weapons and their capacities all the things government officials financial institutions like just like banks and microfinancing institutions they are concerned about these also a live blood is basically data for any organization so you need to protect it <clears throat> so another thing is which is mentioned over here you can see over here that if someone is using computer system or computer technology internet something he or she should not be harmful to any other person who is using computer system we should not make any illegal or harmful or negative use of the technology for which is basically making any loss for the others 
or any insecurity for the others this is very important thing this is an ethical aspect that i want to protect my system from the virus attacks from from unauthorized access from hackers from crackers from anyone who is not concerned with the data but i myself if i am trying to see someone else data if i am trying to steal someone else facebook id or gmail id or uh, i want to read someone else email something like that so of course ethically i am also doing a crime and such type of thing is called basically a computer crime so in this unit this unit present material about computer security and moral guidelines for the ethical use of the computer system what is the code of conduct what is the ethical use of the computer system you don't need to access someone else computer system or his her login id or password at any cost so if we go over here and you see over here we have also mentioned these points over here protect personal information protect organizational information prevent data from from being theft prevent prevent from the viruses and the malware as well so these all are the areas where we need to protect the data now if we come to the point what is meant by the cyber crime what is you would have listened this term a number of time the cyber crime okay so what is actually meant by the cyber crime cyber crime is basically related to the crime which is done using computer technology of course whenever someone commits cyber crime internet or network is always involved either it will be a network or it will be over the internet cyber crime will be committed over the internet or network any type of local area network wide area network or or it will be over the internet why because someone needs to have some communication channel to access your computer system if your computer system is stand alone if your computer system is not connected with any network neither with the local area network nor with the internet or any wide area network then your computer cannot be misused or hacked at at all because no one is accessing it until someone personally reaches to your office and sits on your chair and uh, tries to find out some confidential data on it but physically you are secured your room is locked your computer system is locked you are using your computer system no one is sitting over there but you are connected to the network so that why there is a chance of cyber crime cyber crime is the criminal activity now these are the key terms when we are define defining some specific topics key term cyber crime is a criminal activity that either targets or uses a computer a network a computer network or network device most but not all cyber crime is committed by cyber criminals or hackers who want to make money why someone is doing cyber crime why someone is interested to steal your data what he or she will get definitely the prime objective is any some any kind of you know financial gain mostly you would have listened about these cases as well that some people try to steal the credit card or debit card information when someone is doing shopping on any online platform what happens on any online platform when you do shopping you need to enter when you do shopping on any of the platform you need to enter your debit card number even you need to enter the pin code and some information about it then you become able to have you become able to pay that particular amount that is paid to be paid for that particular product that you are buying from there so some people are there who are trying to have access to your debit card number so that they can use that card number and they can make some shopping they can make some money out of it or they can withdraw some amount from your from your you know system so that they may have some you know good kind of uh, financial gain 
so that's why mostly they are interested they are not interested normally normally they are not interested in your personal data like your photos or videos they are not that much interested because they want to earn something in a negative manner that's why they are doing cyber crime cyber crime is carried out by individuals or by organization not only individuals are performing cyber crime but also organization what does it mean what are the organizations which are performing can anyone uh, give me the example of it individuals may be criminals but why the organizations will do such kind of crime can anyone define can what comes in your mind any idea about it i am not saying that your idea will be 100% correct but you just make a guess make a guess about it yes anyone else anyone else no one what comes in your mind when we say that organizations are also doing the cyber crime some organization yes uh, muniba uh, because you secretly protect the computers from viruses and hackers it is written over here cyber crime is carried out cyber crime they are committing crimes who are committing crimes individuals and organization individuals or organizations i am saying why organizations are doing crime but this is my question if they are protecting their system it is understandable that they are protecting their systems from the virus attack from the hacker but they themselves are doing crime what does it mean what does it show what comes in your mind anyone else any guess any idea okay now basically there is a reason behind it that organizations have got their their business competitors business competitors like who are the competitors for example take example of of uh, coke and pepsi they are the competitors okay sprite and seven up they are they, these are competitors surf excel and ariel why because they are dealing in the same type of product and uh, people will either buy their product or their product one product or second uh, product so that's why their competitor what they do they try to slow down the network of their competitor or organizations they try to send their the malwares they try to send the you know different kind of viruses to them so that their operations daily operations should be disturbed or they try to sometimes they don't do it uh, by some kind of making announcement it is it is basically internal job that they want to they sometimes and definitely all the organizations are not doing this but i'm just giving you examples why organization do this because they want their competitor to be busy in some kind of activities which are not beneficial for the business and when their uh, intentions their concentration will be toward that those things which are uh, they're relevant to the business and they will be managing their network and all these things so we can we can market our product at that time basically this is the ideology behind it so and for example take another example if your competitor is going to launch some new product and you have got some idea that they are going to launch some new product and you become able to steal that data what they are going to launch then in that situation if you steal that data you can launch that product even even before them so it will be a great loss for them back because they would have re done research for it and they would have done some work for it of course it is a crime this is this, that is why we are calling it that this is a cyber crime if you go to the google and you search it what are basically cyber crimes by business competitors cyber crimes by the business competitors so you will be able to know some different business competitor is also called business rival so you will be able to know you know different case studies will be there that you are going to see what kind of uh, cyber crimes are there that the business competitors perform and why the personal something personal or some person is doing some personal crime at or at his own uh, will that makes some sense but why the organizations are doing so this is very important for us to know about it so 
and computers users if we come to the book computers user often exchange information with each other or communicate over the internet this can infect a user's computer with virus or other types of malicious software some users are aware of computer threats but many are unaware and do not know how to protect their computers so computer security or safety is important for computer users to protect their computer from different threats it is necessary to install security software such as firewall antivirus spyware antivirus or anti spyware on the net on the computer system so one need to take some good actions in this regard and that action is basically will be regarding that particular threat that it has got now cyber crime refers to any crime that is committed by means of computer and internet as i have told you that if your computer is stand alone computer not on the local area network nor on the wide area network and it is not on the internet even then you are secure in terms of the hacking or in terms of the you know in any kind of cyber attack internet technology by having unlawful access to other computers unlawful access is that access basically that you are doing without authorized permission if you are accessing someone's computer with the authorized permission then it makes sense but unlawful access will not be unlawful access will be a crime if i share with you there is there are different softwares available just like you, you can see on my screen as well this is a software any desk okay so on this this software type this type of software whenever we have got this type of software you can for example if your computer system has got some problem and you want to fix it and you are not able to fix it and you are asking me sir solve this problem on my computer what i can do i will ask you to install any desk and i will access your computer you will give me the permission now when you will give me the permission of course this is an authorized access i will be able to see your screen and i will be able to fix that issue which is there in your computer system and then when i will uh, fix your the issue and then i will leave your computer system and i will come out so this kind of access that i am doing with the uh, permission of the other person this is not hacking this is authorized access but if i have got some other softwares which are available on the internet as well these are hacking type of things and you are trying to enter someone else computer system so that is basically called a crime why because you are not taking permission uh, definitely someone is not going to allow you to enter his system for any uh, without any reason if some reason is there you need to fix some issue you need to have some uh, something that you need to work on and you are entering his system then it's okay and you are doing it with the coordination it is not going to be a crime but when unauthorized access is there then it is going to be a crime cyber crime not only includes activities that cross international borders and can be considered a global epidem epidemic it is a serious concern for governments all over the world as it continues to grow because people always try to see different kind of ways to enter different systems computer system to steal information from there whenever we have got a secured operating system even then even then there are some holes holes means there are some flaws in it there are some problems in it so since there are problems in it so we are uh, of course someone can find out some way to enter the system so many governments have passed criminal uh, uh, cyber criminal bills and acts that carry fines and prison sentences for cyber criminals so there are some different rules by different organizations that inshallah we are going to discuss in the next class as well but main concern over here today that we have discussed is basically why we need to protect our computer system number 1 what kind of data is there that should be protected i am going to share this data in your you know how will you define the computer security computer security is basically related to the 
यूजफुल इंफॉर्मेशन योर डेटा योर पर्सनल डेटा ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल डेटा मिलिट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेटा गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेटा फाइनेंशियल डेटा सच काइंड ऑफ डेटा जस्ट लाइक डेबिट कार्ड क्रेडिट कार्ड नंबर एटसेट्रा and those were trying to steal it were trying to make different crimes so that kind of crime which is being done it is not that kind of physical crime someone is going to have any uh, type of bank robbery it is not physical crime but it is a crime which is done over the internet that's why it is called cyber crime so cyber crime is committed over the internet or local area network or wide area network inside a network where you have got access from one computer to another computer i hope these all things are clear to all of you and uh, you people are studying at home if you have got uh, anything that you want to ask please ask me from last week i can see some names are there who are looking it it seems that some new names are there who are who were not there one or two names so anyway i would uh, ask you that you need to be uh, present in your all the classes not only in the computer science but also in your all the subjects why because uh, if you are not attending the classes you are you 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 have you have done the papers with the help of the book or with the notes and you have got good marks what will happen in your final exam in your pre board exams when we will have the exam face to face we are very much concerned about this phenomena and this thing is very important for us because inshallah when in a month or two inshallah when the schools will will be working inshallah i hope so whenever the school will be working of course the, when you are going to have your exam it will be face to face exam so you will not be prepared at that time if you are not regular in your classes you are not taking the assignments and the notes which are being published on your google classroom if you are not taking those things seriously as i have told you that i am i have already shared with you all the notes and assignments in your google classroom date wise i have also shared with you the schedule of your revision test that you are going to have and their syllabus is which was shared on the google on the whatsapp group and you know very well that we are going to have our tests on 30th november then 20th of december and then on 14th of january we need to be prepared for those all kind of 